Hey guys, welcome back. Wanted to talk about kind of a touchy subject right now in the industry, and that is graphene. Uh, basically, the concerns with health and skin dermal contact, things like that, because there's so few studies out there that we don't really know the long-term effects of it. So these people that are going to be around it, like you and I, the professionals, every single day, you know, the uh, the red flashing lights in the back of my head are going off, said, let's be careful here. You know, this could be something like uh, asbestos early on that we didn't find out until 1970 that it was harmful. So I found a study, and it was published in a paper, uh, ACS Nano. It was published in 2018, and several several people joined in on this from Sweden, the UK, Spain, France, Denmark, Italy, just uh, lots of lots of places here. So there was published November 2nd, 2018. And the reason that I bring this article up is because they're one of the few that didn't actually dance around the answer that we're looking for. So gra you're going to see it in this paper called GBM, which is graphene-based materials, and GO, which is graphene oxide. So if we go down further in the paper here, so dermal effects, that's your skin, um, basically cutaneous contact, continued uh, contact with it, um, it's basically found to have, it's going to irritate your skin and after 24 hours it's higher than other substances that they, they talk about. Um, basically wear gloves and that gets you around that issue. So let's see, this is actually part of the pulmonary I believe let's go down further there we go Pul pulmonary effects of graphene based materials so um, basically occupational settings inhalation is the route of the highest concern so when they talk about that uh, they're basically going to give it to uh, lab rats lab mice and they introduce a low dose 4 micrograms and 40 micrograms in uh, to each of these and they all showed signs of resolution for all materials which means basically it all went away um, they did say however there's another author of a different uh, study that noticed a low dose of 5 micrograms versus 50 uh, it did induce cell recruitment and lung damage however it says the ones exposed to the high dose it was still present after 7 days but starting to disappear or disappearing by day 28 so it's not permanent lung damage but it does damage your lungs so wear a respirator that's what that's saying uh, cardiovascular results you know uh, heart problems reproductive problems things like that um, you know I'm not gonna bore you with all the details but basically it says that there's very few studies on this because it's so new but it does have adverse outcomes such as low birth weight low preterm birth and so on so you can just Google or get on your internet and search graphene and there's pulmonary effects you uh, you'll find that earlier studies are primarily negative because they don't know what it is I'm saving that image sorry so there's there's YouTube videos about it all kinds of papers you can spend hours and hours researching this but basically what I'm getting at is know what you're dealing with don't just take the manufacturer's word for it that it's safe so wear gloves wear a respirator and just be careful around it I'm not trying to scare anybody but you have a right to be concerned about new chemicals like this you know there could be all kinds of stuff 20 years down the road that we find out that oh you know we shouldn't even been within 10 feet of this kind of stuff uh, it really just depends. I'm not trying to scare you, like I said, but that's, I, I just want you to know and I want to get the word out so you know what you're dealing with here. Take the extra time, read the SDS or the MSDS to see what's really in these. Thanks again, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, comment below. I'll leave a link in the description to the paper I talked about above. Thanks again.